as we discussed in previous uh, video tutorials uh, if you haven't changed any security settings yet in the software uh, the default settings are still on uh, then when you're trying to log in to the software the manager password will be pre-filled in this prompt for password uh, pre-filled with the default value which is 123 and of course you can't read it in here you will never be able to read a password from this field where you type in passwords because it's masked out with these star characters to protect uh, uh, from somebody stealing your password as you're typing it in maybe somebody's watching over your shoulder as you're entering passwords so um, this is pre-filled with the value 123 only because it's still on its default setting the security that is uh, now we will show you how to change that manager password or as we call it administrator's password or uh, many people refer to it as a master password that unlocks everything their highest level of security so uh, we'll go ahead and click OK in here to gain access in the software and we need to go to setup and then security as you can see this is a very simple menu you can only do two things in here you can change the administrator password or manager's password as we refer to it sometimes that is by typing in the new manager's password administrator password right here and then retyping that same uh, new password that you came up with just to check uh, across these two uh, fields and compare them to, for any mistypings, misspellings, you know, any errors in typing. Uh, and the other thing you can do in this simple menu is disable all passwords, have no protection at all in the software. And you'll wonder why somebody wants to do that. Um, we, we think um, a significant portion of our, uh, of a uh, minority of our um, users want to do this uh, if they have uh, one person in the business like it's a situation of an owner operated business they don't have any employees uh, just the owner working on the POS system and they don't have nobody to worry about protecting it against and also uh, for, for security uh, purposes uh, for their customers or whatever they just maybe lock the register literally with the key when they walk away from the register or they don't even have a cash drawer at all uh, depending on the top of the business so they want to have a quick login and log out without the software asking them for anything they would just want to have real quick operations and not worried about security so i'll just select this disable all passwords submit changes disabled successfully so now you'll notice if you go log out and log in software doesn't ask you for anything just logs out and logs in now if we go back to change this manager's password actually add security add our own manager's password so you can see how that looks like we go again to setup security same simple menu in here which is going to come up with a password real fast in here uh, retype it again to confirm that we're not making any mistakes in spelling or anything like that uh, we're going to click submit changes update it successfully if we log out now you'll notice you log back in it's asking for a password it's not gonna let you in without entering a password and the other thing you will notice uh, is that there's no more pre-filled values in here now we've changed the security setting to our own uh, master password uh, we've changed it from the default settings from the factory settings as you will so it will never be pre-filled in here again and as soon as we type in our own password it's gonna let us in as a manager because we're talking about the manager's password all this time but notice in here is where your employee will enter their own employee passwords too because the employees will log into the system as well of course uh, it's not gonna be a situation where only the manager works with these systems so uh, the employees they have their own employee passwords and their own security settings we're gonna go through all of that in one of the next video tutorials of how to uh, set employee passwords and um, set different levels of um, security uh, for the employees as far as what they're allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do in the software that all is customized by what your needs so just go ahead and click OK in here and gain full access of the software